Now, Christy, you're looking here at childhood incontinence. Now, could you set the scene for me? What was it that you and your colleagues felt needed to be investigated in this study you're now reporting in paediatric physical therapy? So as a pelvic floor therapist, we see kids who have urgency, voiding frequency, any, any presentation of dysfunctional voiding, and we use biofeedback to treat that. And we know that diaphragmatic breathing can lower pelvic floor resting tone, which can help kids um, have more complete voiding um, and decrease residual volume of urine in the bladder, which can help them reduce their incontinence and bedwetting and everything else. But um, what I kept seeing in the clinic is diaphragmatic breathing is, is hard. It's a hard home exercise program to fit in with kids. So somebody has to take the time. They have to lay down or sit. They have to, like, think about it. Um, and I was seeing similar results with kids when I would have them do these deep squats and then do child's pose. Like, I would, I'd have the biofeedback on. We would do the squats to fatigue, and then we would do child's pose, and then they'd also have lower pelvic floor muscle tone. Um, and then the kids can learn, they can see their pelvic floor tone and can learn better how to control their, their muscles by watching a computer screen. Right, so what was the thesis you were testing here then in this study? My thesis was that these deep squats and child's pose could, were effective at lowering pelvic floor muscle tone. They have an immediate impact. You could have a kid with higher resting tone, um, and that high resting tone kind of is indicative. It goes along with dysfunctional voiding. Um, so I, want, I kept seeing in the clinic that if I have them do these squats and do child's pose, it lowers the resting tone. And then consequently, then they can go to the bathroom and they can fully void their bladders or in kids who have chronic constipation as well, they're, they're have, they can have a bowel movement after doing them. And I just kind of wanted to quantify that so we could say this really does happen. Um, as well as, ad or that squats and child's pose work as well as abdominal breathing. Right, so what did you do to make this investigation then? So then I contacted Dr. Patty Berg. <laughs> so we decided that we were going to test two different interventions. One, which was um, diaphragmatic breathing, which would be the metric standard for us, because we knew that um, diaphragmatic breathing can lower pelvic floor muscle resting tone in children. And the other being this set of exercises, which my colleague had been using in practice, which was um, wide-legged squats to fatigue, followed by two minutes of child's pose. Um, we used um, surface EMG to look at resting tone and see if, if those exercises could lower pelvic floor muscle resting tone as well as relaxation. Um, diaphragmatic breathing. And what we did was we came up with a study that had a group of kids come in, they rolled the dice, they came in once and they got their resting tone measured and they did, then they were taught diaphragmatic breathing and then they had their resting tone measured again immediately after that. And then within two weeks they came back in, had their resting tone measured, did these deep squats to fatigue and child's pose, and then they did um, the resting, we had the resting tone measured again and compared whether the deep squats and the child's pose were as effective as abdominal breathing. Right, so what in fact did you discover? Well, that the, that the squats and the child's pose are significantly effective, as effective as diaphragmatic breathing at lowering that resting pelvic floor muscle tone. So it was really, it was a basic study, like we just found that the squats in the child's pose are a useful intervention to lower pelvic floor muscle tone in kids who have dysfunctional voiding and pelvic floor dysfunction. We are not suggesting that this is um, an isolated treatment for children who have this type of symptomology, but that this is a home, um, an adjunct, adjunct kind of um, approach to helping parents ready their children for voiding in the home. I want all these patients to be able to see physical therapists trained in pelvic floor biofeedback. But the reality is I live in South Dakota. I have patients that are driving three hours to come see me. So I need more tools that can be used at home um, on, on a daily basis to really get results. Doing wide-legged squats to fatigue followed by child's pose, approximately an intervention of about, you know, four minutes, four to five minutes, can, has an immediate effect on pelvic floor muscle resting tone and, and lowers it into a more normal range. So then um, 
physical therapist can provide that as a home program and say, you know, we know that this patient has trouble resting or lowering their resting floor tone. We know that that difficulty is causing these symptoms. So we would like to send you home with this home program of doing these squats, doing child's pose, followed by sitting on the toilet three times a day and see if we can't help with your symptoms.